Today I'm going to show everybody how to work with a whole sardine. We don't see a lot of these in the marketplace, but I'm hoping that's going to change really soon with uh, consumer demand. So go out there and ask people to start getting you whole sardines. They're so good for you. They're, they're really more delicious than they get credit for, and they're so inexpensive that um, there's really no reason why you shouldn't be eating more sardines in your diet. These are nice big ones. These are um, West Coast or Pacific sardines. And today I'm going to show you how to fillet them, how to clean them if you have a whole one, basically how to get them ready. They're, they're really one of the easiest fish to get ready to use. So stick with me and I'll show you all about them. So the first thing you want to do is notice that there's some scales here. You can take a spoon and run this spoon backwards. You see that? How they just come flying off there? It's really, with such a small fish, it's really the easiest way to go is to use a spoon. You don't need to get any kind of special expensive tools. And you just rub your, your spoon backwards over here and then give it a little rinse and then you're ready to proceed. So I'm going to go give this one a little rinse. Now I'm going to take the guts out of the fish. You can see that the, the flesh is very soft and you want to be very delicate with sardines. They don't have a very long shelf life so handle it pretty gently. I'm going to take my tip of my knife, I'm going to cut right here and go all the way down to right there. Okay, That's going to open this fish up and the guts are going to be right there as you can see. And You just take your knife and you kind of tease them out like so. In fact, actually that spoon would be good too. Or sometimes I'll just go in there with my fingers. It's a little bit gross, but it's pretty quick. And you can see in there that all the guts are now removed, but it really needs to be cleaned and rinsed out. And I'll uh, do that and then I'll show you the finished result. This is what the inside looks like after I've cleaned it. So at this point you have a whole clean sardine and it's ready for a lot of applications. In Good Fish, I have a recipe for a smoked whole sardine. So it's ready to go at that point. You can also pan fry it whole like this, head on, tail on, or you could bake it. You can do a bunch of things with it at this point. A lot of people don't want to know how to fillet a sardine and it's really one of the easiest fish to fillet. So I'm going to show you that technique right now. So all I want to do first is just make a cut right here above this fin here and just make one cut through the bone like that. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side and make that cut right under that fin, you just kind of pull it up and release right there. Okay, that's the first two cuts. And then you want to take off this fin because this is holding back the um, uh, bone from coming out. So we're just going to make a little cut on either side of that fin. And you can just kind of use your fingers and pull that out. Can you see that? Like so? At this point we're ready to, to wiggle out the whole sp uh, spine. First I just need to cut off the tail, which is really easy. Make one cut. And now I'm going to start to take out the bone. So I'm just going to make one kind of top cut right there just to release it. And then you just go in with your fingers and you're going to find where the spine is, which is right in there. And you're going to use the head as kind of a, a handle to hold on to. And basically you're just kind of pulling the bones out all the way down the whole fish, just wiggling it out. Sometimes I use another finger to get in there, but So then you have the head and the spine, and you have um, filleted sardine. Some people will um, cut off these rib bones here, but really, when you're cooking them, you're not going to, you're not, they're going to get so soft, you're not going to even notice them. If you wanted to take them off, you would just take a knife and cut them out like so on each side. But I, I don't. I like to get the nutrients of those bones, the calcium. Okay, so we have a perfectly um, butterflied and deboned sardine ready for uh, doing a whole bunch of different things. Pickling, smoking, most usually I would pan fry this. You could even use it for uh, eating raw, but it's ready to go really good.